Hello peeps, how you doing? Thank you for tuning in again. Uh, you're watching the uh, Jacob Mojapello channel. I am live and I am kicking. Um, <clears throat> always check out my videos. I've already got a few uploads on there. And feel free to subscribe and share. Share on Facebook, share with other friends, WhatsApp, whatever. Uh, share the videos and feel free to subscribe. Alright, now today I just want to touch on something which I think is majorly, majorly affecting a lot of Christians in and around the area of London. And um, it's a big thing, um, but I want to just address it. I've got about five, six minutes. I haven't got too long, but I'm going to try and cover it. It's in response also. It's partly in response to a video which I saw by a guy called the Dawah Man. He is a Muslim who goes and he proselytizes or he evangelizes uh, Islam, uh, trying to gain more followers of Islam. And just like other Muslims, he has things that he throws out there about Christianity, questions he has about Christianity. But one thing I've noticed is that he's very manipulative. He's very manipulative. But most importantly, sometimes, you know, I'm not about always debating with Muslims. But what we need to understand as Christians is that sometimes when we come to a place where people are asking questions of us, we can learn and we can find out things. So I hope to answer some questions to review uh, some of the things he said in his video. I basically posted in the um the the link for his video under um under uh under my video okay and you can watch that video and you can see when I'm going to be addressing stuff but I'm going to address stuff because he covers a lot of things a lot of things he is muslim think about christianity not just what he thinks but what a lot of things about what muslim thinks about christianity and what they use to manipulate people especially some christians who have never really had the born again experience people who are not maybe even christian genuinely but have never really received jesus christ truly and they use this to manipulate people even manipulate true christians all right so let's I'm just going to go into it so we can have a look because it's important we understand what we believe we know what we believe so we're secure in it and when people come with questions we can let them know but it's not just for questions but in our life it can be something that we can live in our life we don't just want to know things for debate but we can live our life and be effective okay these are core uh, core truths that are the, are the foundations of Christianity alright when you watch the video when you watch the video, if you check out the link, right, the first thing he starts to deal with, he sees two black boys in London. Now, um, these black boys were probably raised in a Christian family, but they never really got to know Jesus, never really studied scripture, don't really know God. So it was quite easy picking, and that's what he had, and so he just kind of went forward. But anyway, the first thing he kind of brought up was that Jesus is a Muslim. The name of the video is Jesus is a Muslim. As you can see, that's why I've addressed my video, Jesus is a Muslim according to Muslims, right? Because Muslims think Jesus is a Muslim. First of all, Jesus was a Jew. Islam did not exist at the time of Jesus. Islam existed 600 years even after Christ, at least 600 years. That's when Islam came through, through Muhammad. Islam was the fictitious uh, idea of Muhammad. And Muhammad took Jewish prophets, Jewish prophets, Moses, they called him Musa, Ibrahim, Abraham, they called him Ibrahim, you know what I'm saying, Jesus, they call him Isa, yeah, and to tell you how wrong this is as a Christian, because a lot of Muslims say Christianity is the same as Islam, a lot of Christians believe that foolishness, that claim to be Christians, they're not Christians, Islam's not the same as uh, Christianity, Islam denied the central doctrine of Christianity that Jesus Christ was crucified on the cross but records show, Roman records show it, there's even um, secular people, writers who wrote about the crucifixion of Jesus but the, the, the Muslims denied the crucifixion of Jesus Yeah. so we need to know that clearly there you already have two separate ideas, two separate religions, Islam and Christianity don't worship the same God, Islam worship Allah, we worship the God of the Bible but Jehovah, uh, Jehovah El Shaddai, you know what I'm saying, Jehovah Jireh, you know, the God of the Bible, not the God of the Quran, he's not the same God, the God of the Bible can have a son, this is the definition, the God, the Bible is meant to define our God, now I've got to be trying to be quick here, Jesus, it says Jesus was a Muslim, uh, um, he was a Jew, like I said before, he was a Jew, he said Jesus said, I submit my will to the Father, he said in the video, when someone says, or Muslims believe when, um, when you submit your will to the God, that means you're a Muslim, yeah? 
Jesus said, I submit my word to the Father. First of all, he's committing blasphemy because he is basically admitting that God is Jesus' Father. That is blasphemy in Islam. That's what the Muslims who might watch this video might need to know. Jesus said, I submit my word to God, the God who, the God of the Bible, not the God of the Quran. Not the same God. This is why he's trying, he's deceptive. The Islam, Muslims think we worship the same God and yet they're trying to kill us. No. When Paul was persecuting Christians, when Paul was persecuting Christians, persecuting the church, Jesus said to him, why are you persecuting me? And so he tries to say Jesus and the church are not on the same side. Let me tell you, Jesus is on the side of the church. The church is on the side of Jesus. The church might not be perfect, but let me tell you, Jesus takes it personally. When you injure his people, the people he's directly uh, 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 related to the church, you injure him. you're basically trying to injure him. You're attacking him. And Jesus said to Paul, why are you persecuting me? And that's what this Muslim, that's what Dawa man doesn't understand. Okay? He said, I'll submit, Jesus said, I'll submit my will to the Father. So, already there, you know, he's already committing blasphemy. He's admitting that the Father God is Jesus, his Father, and Jesus is his Son. So, right there, he's committing blasphemy, Islamic blasphemy. So, that's for him to deal with, with his Islamic fellows. Alright? So, it's important we understand that. Um, but it's important we understand that Jesus was not a Muslim, Christianity has got nothing to do with Islam. Muhammad tried to basically copyright, uh, I mean not copyright, uh, plagiarize a lot of things. That's what he did. That's what he really did in essence from the Bible, from Christianity and tried to say God can't have any partners, can't have any children. Well the God of the Bible had a child. And in essence the God of Islam is not true. The God of the Bible is true. Okay. He says, I was, and then he tried to address the Holy Spirit and tried to say the Holy Spirit was talking about Muhammad. But the, when you read John 16, uh, verse 17, he, Jesus says, I will send a comforter. I will send a comforter. Muhammad killed people. Killed people. That's not very comforting, is it, Muhammad? It's not very comforting. Muhammad killed people. It's important we understand that. And Jesus said, he shall be in you. In another scripture, I think in John chapter 4 and 15, he said, he will be with you and in you. The helper, the comforter, the spirit. He shall be with you and in you. Muhammad's not in me. Muhammad's not in me. And what he tried to say is that the Holy Spirit was already there that came before uh, Jesus. So he's trying to say, basically, that, oh, Jesus was not really, you know, talking about the Holy Spirit. Yes, he was talking about the Holy Spirit. What he meant, G the dove came on the Holy Spirit, but the Holy Spirit wasn't in every person and was not in every believer. So what Jesus was addressing is that the Holy Spirit will come in all you who believe in me. Muhammad's not in everyone. You know what I'm saying? The Muhammad's not in every Christian. Okay? So, it's not talking about Muhammad. The Holy It's talking about the Holy Spirit. It's talking about a spirit, not a human body. Okay, um, what you need to understand is that Muslims are very manipulative. Now, I'm not saying this video to for us to be aggressive with Muslims and try and be uh, hate them. No, I'm saying well, let's walk in love, but let's realize the truth when they try and bring life to devour Christians, to devour people who don't know. Yeah, very manipulative, and that's what this Dawa man is. And if you notice, most of his videos, if not all his videos, he doesn't allow comments because you know people will refute him, will refute him on his comments. Because he knows he's so manipulative. Not all Muslims are that manipulative, but a lot of them are. Especially when they're trying to evangelize. Very manipulative. Okay, he doesn't allow comments. Okay, and it says, uh, I did not come but to the children, uh, but to the children of Israel. Yeah, Jesus, the Bible says it clearly. He came to the children of Israel first. Yeah, but the Bible says when his own didn't receive him, he went out to everyone else. But then when we look also in John chapter 3, he says that he was sent to the world, not to condemn it, but to save it. So he came to the world and said, whosoever shall believe, Jew, Israel, or not Israeli, sh sh shall have eternal life. Shall not perish, but have eternal life. So he came for the whole world. Okay, he came for the whole world. He came for the whole world. Um, the sword, he talks about the sword in the video, the sword represents the word, okay, if you look at the armor, the armor in Ephesians, I think Ephesians 5, the armor of God, it talks about the sword, the word of truth, or something, yeah, uh, the, the sword represents the word, uh, Hebrew talks about the word is like a two-edged sword, dividing to the, so the word, not the, not the physical sword to cut people up, okay, but the word, 
divides between the soul and um uh, and uh, other stuff and the last thing he said jesus and the church are you on the he asked the two guys very deceptively are you on the church's side or jesus's side very deceptive the church is the body of christ it is the body here on earth right now of jesus and the bible talks about how the government it says he's the head but it talks about a government shall be on his shoulders who's the shoulders who's the feet about the church the church is the body of christ i think it's in first corinthians chapter 12 you know it talks about the body we are the body of jesus if you ain't on the side of church, you ain't on the side of Christ. He's not on the side of the church. His people, ISIS, and the whole law are persecuting Christians. Let me tell you something. Jesus said to Paul, why are you persecuting me? Why? Because Paul was persecuting the church. And when you persecute the church, let me tell you, the almighty God, Jesus Christ, is wondering, Islam, why are you persecuting me? And that is the question he's going to have when he returns for the Muslims. You persecuted me. Not that you persecuted the church, just the little church over there. No, you persecuted me because we are related to him. The Bible says that we are engrafted. We have been grafted in. We are his, manif uh, the, his representation on the earth. We are the manifestations of the Son of God. That's what the Bible talks about in Romans. I think Romans chapter 8, the, uh, the earth is waiting for the manifestations of the sons of God. We are here to represent Jesus Christ. The Bible says, as he is, so are we. So when they persecute us in terms of what they're doing in the Middle East and so on they're persecuting Jesus Christ I am just gonna leave it there but I need you to understand the, the small snippet of things that I've tried to let you know thank you for tuning in and um, watching and remember subscribe and share keep a lookout for the next video